This is a continuation of yesterday's video. See, the video you watched yesterday, I had breakfast, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning, and by the time one o'clock hit, I got bored. I got bored of, quote, boondocking in the same spot, and I just wanted to go adventure. So, bam, here we are on a whole new video, and look, that's a dam. There's the top of the dam up there, and the dam opens, boof. That would be pretty freaking awesome to see. It's super, super windy and... <laughs> I'm sure glad I didn't stick around that same spot. Let's go explore. There's a small little chain of little dotted lights that go through there that are running on like this rope. That was awesome. It was kind of freaky. It was just black. I'm like, oh, where am I going? Um, anyway, I met a gentleman back there walking his dog at uh, the bottom of the dam. And he was telling me he lives just up this road here at Seton Lake. And he said it's turquoise. It's beautiful. And uh, everything from here on out is just gravel. Um, he said, the only way out of here, if I go this way, because this branch is, I'm trying to avoid the wind here. This road, there's a road right there. There's a little straight line across there. That's a road. So that way goes to Gold, Gold Bridge. And this one goes up to Seton Lake. He was telling me that um, if I go that way, I don't remember where it goes, but this way there's a road that takes us back into Whistler, which is kind of backtracking for where I want to go on this trip. So I think, um, and plus I don't want to take off on some mountain road and all of a sudden get stuck. <laughs> no thanks. I am not quite that adventurous yet. And he said it's a bit of a four by four trail, um, but two wheel drives take it all the time and I don't want to risk it. So we're gonna go down to this little town called Seton Lake and check this place out today. But uh, we're gonna be turning around and backtracking out of here in the next day, today, tomorrow, I don't even know. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. So far I'm having so much fun adventuring. It's better than sitting boondocking and twiddling my thumbs all day wondering what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna bounce up here to Seton Lake and um, <laughs> I'm just loving everything today. there. I don't know what kind of car that is, but it looks like it's had better days. <laughs> These roads are narrow and once again we're looking down at... -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, what a view! Wow. 
driving up here is definitely not for someone who's not into heights. Look at that. Unbelievable. That's the road we just came in on. And that's the opposite road on the other side. Spectacular. Look at that, straight down. You wanna look down? Woo! <laughs> How's that for a rush? How many times in this video has your stomach gone? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw! Look at the color of that lake. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Wow. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of Just pulled into the little town of Seton, and I'm guessing this whole town is based around uh, power generation. Looks like a dam over there, and there's another lake up top there. Oop, a whole lot of electricity going down here. Shut the lights, go in front. So freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. My poor van is getting its ass whooped. <laughs> this washboard road is quite crazy. Okay, when we left the dam, I went all the way up this mountain to the top and then winding all the way down. It was a windy, 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 windy road. You guys seen some of it. Uh, it's a 14% downgrade. Even this one is like super steep. But it's the downgrades that I don't like. I've used my brakes more today than I think I have used in the last six months of my van life. Ooh, this is sketchy. Um, oh my gosh, so beautiful though. Oh, wow. Um, you guys seen this on the way up just amazing um, so yeah anyway I got all the way down to Seton Lake and uh, when I got over the mountain I'm like oh that's Seton Lake um, you can get to that lake from the Lillooet side just not this deep into the lake because I got down there and there's like a 
two little native towns. Both of them are like, they have one gas station, that's it, one pub and a little hotel. But there's really nowhere to pull over and park. It's all native land. So everybody, like when I was pulled over on the side of the road, all the locals were slowing down. They were like turning their heads to see who I was, what I was doing. Because I'm sure driving this far out in the middle of nowhere, you probably don't get a lot of like people outside the usual. Um, there was a sign back there saying that there was a campsite, but I didn't drive that far down that road. Anyway, long story short, we're going back up over the mountain, back down the other side, and I think I'm going to go back and stay where my day started today. How beautiful is that? I want to stop here and show you, but you can see lines and stuff on the little bank over there. And if you look at it, those lines go up pretty high, which means this, I'm guessing this is just a reservoir. This reservoir, must they must block it all off and just let it fill up that full. <laughs> That's insane. Whoa. If you have a look where the dam is, the two white doors on the bottom of that thing, that's the gates to open the water to go through the dam. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> that would make sense why all those banks have all those lines. Look how low the water is. This whole drive up here on the gravel has been pretty, pretty brutal dodging some of the rocks and stuff that are falling. Like just about the whole 60 kilometers from Lillooet's been the same way, like so much. Like the whole area has been avalanche area. You wouldn't want to stay in a majority of that corridor that I drove. Especially in the van, you know, some rock comes tumbling down the mountain. Ting, right into the van, no thanks. Yeah, wow, look how low the water is. Especially if that's the gate for the dam. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, this tunnel is totally rad. It's just that raw blasted tunnel. So cool. What's up, weirdos? <laughs> Those are a few little LED lights. 